Hey guys, let's go expedition hunting. Now, these packs, the average expected value with the expeditions in for a pack of this card of Battle for Zendikar is around 83 cents as of this recording of this video. So this is probably the lowest amount I've ever seen a booster pack expected value get to. And I will talk about this fat pack, which I picked up for $14.99. But I mean, typically if you can get prize support, stay away from Battle for Zendikar booster packs because it's expedition or bust. There are very few cards in Battle for Zendikar which are worth their money. But let's go ahead and let's try to grab an expedition. So again, this the expected value of a booster pack is 83 cents. And yes, that includes the potential to get a foil land, which is probably the only way that a typical booster pack will make money. And again, this set was widely opened and many people who normally bought a box bought cases of it. So Wizard of the Coast really does know what it's doing in terms of selling packs. They do an excellent job doing that. Radiant Flames, a Molten Nursery, and a Forest. So this pack definitely doesn't come anywhere close to the $3.99 if you did purchase this pack from Walmart or Target. It's like $4 and Texas taxes 8.25%. So it's around $4.50. It's not a small amount to tax on these cards. So hopefully we can get an expedition. If we do get one, I'll probably give it away for the Patreon. Retreat, um, Canopy Vista. So all in all, probably seeing one of these lands is not the worst case scenario. Again, these so much of this was open and very little of it has any uh, value in terms of, we'll just open one more pack, why not? I mean, when you look at the Planeswalkers, Kiora, um, Nixless, Gideon is still valuable, but that's about it. So I've never seen a pack in standard. Remember this card, this is in standard right now we're talking about. And this is about $12 retail of Battle for Zendikar packs. And we can probably pull like a, a dollar maybe uh, combined. So definitely a net loss. And this is what, oh, Trench Guest of Mine is not bad. Lumbering Falls is not bad and Gideon Emblem. This is literally the best you can hope for it, is you can hope to get a few lands, maybe a foil. Uh, obviously you would want a foil of the four art lands, but even then you, unless it's an island, you don't get your money back. So Battle for Zendikar, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst booster packs to take as prize support in standard, while it's currently in standard. So incredibly, an interesting scenario where everyone felt Battle for Zendikar would be the best set ever. It turned out Battle for Zendikar was the worst set ever in terms of expected value per booster pack. Anyway, we'll keep opening some packs because we have, I have a lot of loose Battle for Zendikar packs that I took as prize support. Anyway, bye guys.